Welcome back, Fanax. My name is Farrell Fanax. Today we are continuing uh, Shining Resonance Refrain. I'm excited to come back into this. Uh, the first video got claimed for copyright music, so I'm just careful for that. But maybe I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll put random music in to replace it, or maybe I just won't mess with it at all because I don't like money off you so far. Uh, why not, anyways? So, I ain't too worried about it. Uh, without further ado, let's just jump into it. No, completed. You must shining uh, the boy to shining dragon was captured by the empire and did not let me read the rest. And my legacy imperial princess Excella, you might unleash something something of the shining dragon. Douchebags. <laughs> let me read it. Ah. <laughs> that sounds weird because I just woke up. <laughs> Your Highness, this is unexpected. Had I been made aware of your arrival, I would have mustered the troops for inspection. I'm not here to inspect your men. That's one manly look at man. Look at that X scar across his face. I see. Then to what do we owe the honor? How long have military operations in Alfheim gone on now, Georg? Eight? No, nine years? Nine years to see the Emperor's, my father's, will done. And somehow, victory yet eludes us. The Emperor wishes to convey his impatience. He desires results. To that end, I come bearing the burden of command. Uh -oh. By the Emperor's will, the invasion of Alfheim continues under my supreme authority. Your Beowulf now obeys me. I'll Beowulf? Objections. That sounds legit. I have none, your highness. We of Beowulf, the Knight Sanguine, have thus far failed in delivering our Emperor his conquest. If his majesty has seen fit to grant us a second chance, though undeserving, we humbly accept. Enough then. Let's not speak of apologies and humility. Instead, let us speak of plans. As I transition into my new role as commander, I admit confusion on a matter I'd like explained. This boy, the alleged bearer of the Shining Dragon, alleged. You saw yourself, woman. All your compiled what are you talking about? And yet, not one report in the lot mentioned the dragon at all. Not even in passing. Explain this to me. <coughs> Bye, fella. <sighs> we judge that information unfit to be reported on, Your Highness. How? How do you not report that you have the Shining Dragon of Legend? What? Not worth reporting? Surely I misheard. The mightiest of his kin, a legend amongst even other dragons. You mean to tell me the discovery of the Shining Dragon himself doesn't even deserve a footnote? Perhaps it's best I let the man I assigned to it explain. Joachim? Yes, yes, a perfectly Ooh. understandable query. We heard rumors the child possessed the Shining Dragon, so we acquired him, yes. We've since spent a great deal of time observing his growth, but sadly we were unable to detect the Shining Dragon's energy signature. He still was able to channel pure dragon energy on his own, however. I was in the midst of running tests for that at the time. So hopefully it's clear why we chose as we did. The official reports are reserved for confirmed, verified intelligence only. Hmm. I see. I'll remember your discretion as I conduct my new duties. Still, the Shining Dragon. Can this power of mine tame even you, I wonder? Hey, we talking about the Shining Dragon in here? Like the special mythical one? Is he really all that? Zest? Is him Zest? Hmm? Alright, what does Zest look like? Zest? You're like Zesty. Care to explain yourself? And show some respect. I'll not tolerate your lip in the presence of Her Highness. Already crawling up my back, Georg. I'm not gonna be rude. Promise. Hey, Princess. You brought your Draco Machina with you, right? So between them and the Shining Dragon, who do you think is stronger, huh? 
Between the Shining Dragon and my three spears? I cannot say. He fled before any true test of strength could be had. But the spears have already communed with me on this matter. They prescribe caution in dealing with him. Nothing more. I see. So he might actually be fun to play around with, is what you're saying. Like if your big fancy machina aren't up to snuff. Zest, I told you to mind your tongue. What? This guy is Just calling else. it like I see it. Zest. Fine, fine, I'll just go. Later. <laughs> or your Who was that man? Uh, oh, Zest. Yes, my strongest lieutenant. Strongest of all the Knights Sanguine, in fact. I see. Less fortunately, he has a certain temperament. As his captain, I regret to report his mood swings are... Difficult to work around. <laughs> it's an angsty teenager, dude. <laughs> mm. I thought I felt a measure of power in him. If he's as unruly as you say, that is misfortunate. That is misfortunate? Well, no matter. I have concluded my business here for the day. We'll continue planning on the morrow. Thy will be done, Highness. Before you go, though, Beatrice. Beatrice. Oh, Stand good lord. By, sir. Star skin elf lady. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't help but notice you didn't bring your retainers, Highness. Please. I would have you employ Beatrice Highness. instead. You'll find her capable. My name is Beatrice. It will, of course, be my pleasure to serve your highness. A bender of shadow? How fascinating. Bender Very well, of Beatrice. Shadow. What does that mean? You may accompany <laughs> me for the duration. It's a Shikamaru from Naruto, maybe? <laughs> Thy will be done. With me, then. Let's be off. Let me guess, before you start. Don't leave her side for even a moment, and make sure her every need is seen to. Something like that? Something like that. Uh, he had a sinister smile on his face. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't like Princess either. A dream? Which means this is back then. Please! I know it hurts, but you can't move! Oh! No, no, no! If you're in that much pain... Oh, I know! I'll cast a spell to numb the pain, alright? Just hold still a moment longer. Who's she? <laughs> Here goes! Ready? That's right. I remember now. That girl, she... that... girl. Her name, why can't I... remember? Seems to be a plot twist. I guess one of the chicks who just met or something. <sighs> oh, your Radiance. You're awake. W where You're in Marga, your Radiance. The royal capital of Astoria. I see. And you're a... Kirika, right? So it's a terrible memory. <laughs> Kirika Toa Alma of Wellant. I'm also oh, known as the awful. Diva Magica. Please, call me Kirika, your radiance. All right, Kirika. Nice to meet you. Diva like a singer, right? That song before. Just what is a Diva Magica? Oh, originally we were... Translators, I suppose. Divas once acted as bridges between men and dragons, communicating will and whim. When dragons still roamed the world, there was peace. They spoke to us, taught us. 
sang to us in their ancient rune songs. Though the dragons are gone now, and the skies over Alfheim are empty, we divas still play the songs in remembrance. A new diva magica begins training from a very early age, not just to master rune songs, but draconic lore, historical texts. That's how it was for me, anyway. I applied myself to my training, but it always felt... off. Empty. But then I met you, Your Radiance. I always knew you returned to us. That's why I've been studying, playing my heart out, and... and now you're really here! I'm not gonna like this. Uh, my apologies, Your Radiance. I allowed zeal to overcome me. Please, if I may serve you in any capacity, only say so. Um, uh, okay. Kirika, you know I'm not actually the Shining Dragon, right? My name... I understand, Master Yuma. Perhaps not in fleshly form, but in spirit, you are the Shining Dragon. Okay, I'm the Shining Dragon. We'll go with that. Honestly, I'm just glad to have someone looking after me. Ah, I got her trait. Dragon Believer! Good morning, Kirika. How's he doing? Formula. Oh, oh, he's awake? Mom! 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 Where you at, Mom? <laughs> The strange man in the house! Her mother Emma runs this place. Ah, uh, the Seagull Inn, I should say. Ah. Mom, look! Oh my, good to see your eyes open, You're dear. Elf. You gave us quite the fright when you wake up, enough. you know. I... I did? Um, thank you for looking after me, ma'am. Breakfast is ready, so why don't you come down and put something in your stomach? Oh, and the princess is here. Best not make her wait. Yeah, she is kind of a grumpy, but... The princess? In time, Your Radiance. I think I'll you'll understand you after you two have spoken. Interesting. Lots of exposition. Hey, good morning. You had a rough night. Were you able to rest up? Hmm. What's wrong? You seem confused. I, uh... She said I was supposed to be meeting a princess down here. So, does that mean... A prin... Oh, for the love of... Hey, Emma. I told you not to call me princess in town. <laughs> hmm? Oh, right. I... Hold on. You're... No way. You're a princess? Uh, what? Like it's that hard to believe? Here. Why don't you let me introduce myself? Sonia Blanche, Crown Princess of Astoria and firstborn to the royal family. Pleased to meet you. M my name is Yuma Ilvern, Your Highness. I it's a profound honor to meet you. Hey, nah, -uh, none of that. No highnesses. Just call me Sonia, okay? <laughs> you got it. But uh, what's the Crown Princess kicking around a regular old inn for? That's a legit question. Like, what the heck are you doing here? Excuse us for being regular and old. We're the top <laughs> in in the city, thank you. And we've even got Dragoneer staying here. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now, Primula. But she's right. I live here as the like, Dragoneer's uh, caretaker. Fool, you ain't make up from our end. Dragoneers. Oh, Lord. That's what Excella and Kirika are, right? Are you a Dragoneer too? Uh, no, not personally. It's more like I'm in training to become one. Something like that, anyway. You're a noob. So, um, Yuma, weird question, but can we talk about your plans from here on? Your future? I don't want to recruit you so you can never leave the city again. <laughs> so, Nick, oh, I think it would be better if the king explained. We should escort his radiance to the castle before anything else. You're right. Can you come with us for a bit, Yuma? I'm a little uneasy about all this royalty stuff, but I mean, a lot of people it's be. not like I can refuse the people seeing to my every need. That's fair. Okay. I'm gonna feed you. Wherever you want to go, point the way. Uh, Sonia obtained the trait Seagull and Guest. <laughs> what? I guess she stays there quite a bit if she has that trait. Royal Audience Chamber. Welcome, Sir Yu. King Elder, my sexy King man. Astoria. Thank you for making the journey to my humble home. I like your voice, it's very manly. Y yes, sir. Oh, come, Sir Yu. No need to be so stiff. Actually, 
If I may call you simply Yuma? Sure, that... that's fine, um, sir. Very good. Now, Yuma, I'm sure you have some guesses as to why you're here. The, um, the Shining Dragon, right? Then we're all on the same page. That's the short... Do it! Yes. You're gonna recruit me! However, let me first assure you of your freedom in this hall. Unlike the Empire, I have no intention of holding you against your will. You alone will choose whether to lend us your aid. And you alone will decide what shape that aid takes. That being said, if I may be so presumptuous, I would ask you for a particular kind of aid. The Shining Dragons, if it's yours to give. For nearly a decade now, Astoria has slowly bent and buckled under the Empire's boot heel. We're locked in a bad stalemate, to be frank with you. Marga's fortifications have seen that it remains standing for now. But we cannot place our faith in the walls forever. Then there are refugees fleeing occupied lands, and the poor souls left behind. They are my subjects, and I their king. I am duty-bound to protect them. I understand. I've seen the Empire do some terrible things out there. When I was at Galeritz, I saw... cruelty. All kinds of inhumane experiments. Will you help us? With the Shining Dragon's power, Alfheim could be free of Imperial influence. You say no? I want to stop them too, I really do. Yeah, he's But I can't use the Shining Dragon's power to do it. It... it's too... To what? It's not like he's evil. He helped me and Kirika, remember? No, no, not evil. It's more like... Ugh, then make a decision, why don't you? What does his power even mean to you, huh? Lady, calm down! It, uh, w well... Answer me! This is all about you, so why don't you say something? Quit yelling at me! If you've come this far just to clam up, ugh, I don't understand you. Sonia, enough. Thank you. can hardly make his own decisions when you lay the pressure on so thick. What? No, uh, I didn't mean... Uh, no, I'm sorry, Yuma. None of that was right of me to say. Please excuse my display. You know I don't mean to embarrass you in your own hall, Father. And Yuma, can you forgive me? I know you have your reasons, so if you don't want to use your power... No, it's okay. I should be the one apologizing. Mm. In the end, the fault lies with me, I think. You did, after all, just escape from Imperial Prison. Perhaps I was wrong to push for answers when you've been left with only questions. Shall we take a break for now? A moment to think with clear heads would do us all well. Man, it's very nice. It's very... Thoughtful. Good king, good king. You are dismissed, you. Please, take whatever time you need, see the city, and return with your decision once you've made it. Fair? Yes, if you say so, your majesty. I mean, ugh, it was in dark moment. <laughs> Sorry about that, I can be short-tempered sometimes. About the Shining Dragon, it's really up to you. Okay, but what about the War of the Empire? Oh, don't worry about that. We finally gained our footing. Hey, don't make that face! Oh, I know. I'll show you around the city, Yuma! Show me around, huh? That would be great! I've never been to such a big city before, so I'd like to check it out. Okay, good. Let's go! Okay. Ooh. Oh, good. This is here. Yeah. Get a sensitivity off the wall. Woo! Um, okay, that's a story icon. It's not a map. It's not a map. I have an inventory at this point. Is this Permula? It is! You son of friend too? You don't look very bright. Oh, shit! Shade! Slap across the face! <laughs> Who are you? Random girl. Uh, 
that was around. I don't want to do the exclamation point just yet. Literally. That was Gerica. Oh, I see. Oh, lady, sit on me! I don't like it! Stranger danger! Who are you? Oh, you want to date? That's cute. I'm gonna interrupt it. Dang it! They're so focused on each other that I can't interrupt it. Why are you so short? Why do you have bitches trying to eat you? Wow, Sonia! Want to want me to whip something up? No, not today. I'm here to introduce the newest resident of the Seagull Inn. This is Yuma. Well, the name is a uh, the name is Rapple. Oh, Rapple. I'm an alchemist. Nice to meet you. Likewise, but what's an alchemist? Wait, you don't even know what an alchemist uh, alchemy is? Fine. Listen up. Alchemy is real useful. You can make everything. From military uh, weapons to day-to-day -day supplies, for instance. Crafty! Um, you can use materials at Ruffle Shop to synthesize items and aspect pieces. The hell is an aspect piece? With item synthesis, you will create potions or materials that will be useful. Journeys! With aspect synthesis, you will create aspect pieces that will come into handy in battle. So, as long as you bring me the materials I can't... I can make anything you need. Words. And hiccups, apparently. Okay. Thanks for that. Yeah. You're the honest type, huh? I like you. You can have this. Vital, whatever that is. Uh, what's this? It's really pretty. That's an aspect piece. It gives you an aspect. Well, let's just say it can make you powerful in all kinds of ways. Try sticking that on your weapon. I'll try it. Thanks. <laughs> That's terrible. Come on, let's keep going. See you, Rapple. No, oh, Sonia, wait a sec. Um, when you get back to the Seagull Inn, tell Primula. Oh, it's Christmas Primula. You forgot your change last time. Don't be so oblivious. Oh, uh, hold on to it for you. So, uh, please come by and pick it up. Yes! <laughs> huh? Ah, hee hee. Oh, okay, I'll tell her. Every word. Hee hee. Uh, uh, okay, fine. I'm counting on you. I'll see you, Raffle. <laughs> so Raffle has a what the hell is the beep? Oh, it's my girlfriend. Steve, Potter. Are you tired yet, Yuma? I'm always tired. A secret cap. Uh, a little. There's in such a bustling city. Yeah, it's the capital of Astoria, so you can get just about anything you need here. Thus far, we've been able to hold off the Empire, so the residents of the city have been able to live here in peace. Alright, let's return to the sequel and rest. To the end! There it is. Where's the entrance? <laughs> oh, welcome back! There's someone here to see you. Uncle Burroughs, this is the boy I was talking about. Uncle Burroughs? Whoa! Uh, about oh. time. You're Crap. a dragon boy. You're one spiky looking dude. The king filled me in. Call me Burroughs. How are you holding up? Hi. It's, uh, nice to meet you. That's the man right there. Oh, forgive me, Yuma. I should have mentioned. This is Burroughs, captain of the Knights of Astoria and an old family friend. Captain, I like his, I love if you're making a visit to I don't know Seagull, why. that must mean you've got work for the Dragoneers, right? Right you are, my lady. A hunting contract. Seems something big is out terrorizing folk beyond the walls. What, a monster? More than your knights can handle if you're asking for a Dragoneer to deal with it. Well, the Knights of Astoria... See, we've got our hands full with something else right now, so... I see. By all means, then, let's petition the Dragoneers! Hey, Sonia, there are other Dragoneers besides Kirika staying here, right? Three of them, all told, yeah. Kirika and two others all use the Seagull Inn as their Ooh, base who are the others? I want to know. And when the throne doesn't have official contracts to offer, they go around assisting the people of Marga instead. There's not a soul in Marga who can't tell you a story about a stout-hearted dragoneer. You can always rely on them. Hmm. Okay. Astoria owes generations of peace and comfort to their protection. By playing their harmonics, they can channel special magic and perform the feats far beyond other of. people. All to keep the peace Copyright. of course. Harmonics? 
Is that what you call those instrument weapon things Kirika and Excella were using? Mm-hmm. Long ago, the shining dragon inside you gifted them to the ancient. There are supposedly seven harmonic armaments in all, three of which are here in Astoria. The elves of Wellant have another three. Where's the last one? And the last one's in the care of that imperial princess. Never mind. Wellant. Oh, but yeah, isn't that they have four. homeland? What's she doing fighting for Astoria instead? Well, Astoria and Wellantine relations are peaceful. The elves' ancestors lived here a long time ago, so we've been allies for generations. Interesting. Lieutenant Sonia's trade dragon here can take a. At any rate, I should go and see about this something big. You stay here where it's safe, you. I should go see about this something big. <laughs> You're going all by yourself? I can't just demand a Dragonair's time without doing any scouting first now, can I? It's my du- Be that as it may, my lady. Maybe take Yuma with you all the same? Just to be safe? <laughs> me? <W> uh, me? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Captain Burroughs. It's just a scouting op. You don't have to be so protective. Uh, uh. Emma, could you make Yuma some tea? I'll be back before it's cold. She's not coming back. Ah, my lady, wait. And she's gone. Emma, why didn't you stop her? Now I have to figure my plans out all over again. Plans? What in the world are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I didn't say a thing. <clears throat> it's like a surprise birthday party or something. how to fix this. Hey, Yuma, little coward. Are you letting the princess totter off into danger all on her own? Huh? But, but she said she was just scouting, so... No excuses. Get after her right now, boy. Hop to. Wait, why? Why do I have to do this? I'd do as he says, Your Radiance. Sir Burroughs is a very stubborn man. Arguing will only make him grumpier. <sighs> fine, fine. I'll go. Allow me to accompany you, Your Radiance. <laughs> if we hurry, we should be able to catch up before Sonya reaches the gates. She, I don't know how to play the combat in this game. Why is it so dark? <laughs> My camera! We'll fix that. Uh, you might be to hold on a moment. Sure, what's wrong? You're heading to the Windia Grasslands, aren't you? A lot of monsters out there, so be careful. If you get tired, you can come back to the Seagull Inn and rest anytime, okay? Yes. If we return to the inn, you can be the tutorial at any time in the Seagull Inn. At any time. Wow, I, I butchered that. Is there you, Emma? There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Same point. <clears throat> Alright, that's gonna be it for the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>